Uh, I joined a mentoring program because I had received some information from the Chicago Bar Association about how it had changed. It used to be a group mentoring program, which I was involved in in 2015. And I mentored six young attorneys for about a year. And then I guess I got too busy with work, but then it got turned over to, I guess, you guys. And I uh, decided that, yeah, it might be kind of fun to mentor one young attorney. I had been a general counsel for a number of years and had a huge legal department. And I kind of missed that as a solo practitioner. Yeah. So for me, I mean, aside from it being just your CLE requirement, I knew that I didn't want to do um, just a traditional CLE requirement. And I thought having a mentor, somebody who had just a breadth of experience in what I was going to be doing was going to be super helpful for my career. Um, and being that I have somewhat of a non-traditional law path and that I had a career before I went to law school and then coming back out, I wasn't necessarily going to a firm or had experience in a firm. So I wanted to find somebody that had that general counsel experience, something that I aspire to be one day and uh, just know how to run the in-house counsel uh, role uh, at a corporation or just a small business. Um, and just kind of learn from somebody who has taken the reins of a legal team before and kind of knew the ins and outs of what to expect in a business. I think the biggest opportunity that sticks out to me is just the learning experience. So, I mean, Kathy, she has experience um, in just being a solo practitioner, but on top of that, just her depth of experience being a general counsel and managing managing people all over the world and um, working through not only just U.S. law, but having to travel abroad and work through other international issues. So she has seen just this full scope of um, just general counsel work. And like I said, that's something I aspire to be one day. And she has tips and tricks that she's learned along the way. And we've covered so many different topics that I either briefly touched uh, in my uh, young lawyer experience so far or things I know that I'm going to have to look out for. And that can be anything from just general contracting to um, employment issues to signing up executives onto uh, to deals to come into a company and um, working through LLCs and other things. I mean, she has basically touched it all. And I think for me, having somebody to go back to and bounce ideas off of or even ask questions of things I don't know anything about um, is super valuable for me. Yeah, I think the, I think the managing part is the biggest aspect of that because we only met in person twice. So normally a relationship like that, you're not really developing anything very personal because personal connection, you need to normally be with people, but we've adapted so well throughout this. And we had that initial connection that was great. Um, so everything was always comfortable and just transitioning to phone calls and being able to talk over the phone, whether it was 30 minutes or an hour or more, it was always learning something. And then we had that social aspect to it. Um, so it ended up for us, I think, or I guess for me, it, it was more of a deeper relationship where it was mentor mentee, but I also have somebody I know I can go back to and have a nice social call with of COVID. I ended up losing my job back in May. Um, and Kathy was great and she helped me through that time and gave me guidance on what I should be doing. When I was trying to pick up side work and, uh, help me through that and was there for me just socially. Like I said, it wasn't always just business on the phone. We got to talk about our vacations and other things. So uh, it's not just a mentor-mentee relationship, but I think I can call Kathy a friend and I know I can call her anytime I need to, if I needed to bounce ideas off of her, just catch up. Absolutely. And I, I think for me, just my previous work as being a general counsel of an international company you know, I was comfortable not having, you know, I always said you had to have that initial contact so you could have some rapport. But after that, it, it was very comfortable on the phone. It's not a problem, especially when, you know, you're used to dealing with people all over the world. It's not a problem. Um, mentoring fits in my professional development strategies in a couple of ways. I, I like to have, I like to be current with the younger attorneys and, and like I said, I, I sort of miss the general counsel days um, being a solo practitioner now. So that's been great. Um, and then also, you know, it's a, it's a pleasant way to obtain some of the CLE. Um, you can only sit and listen to so many webinars. Um, so this has been, I have really enjoyed getting CLE this way. Um, 
and you know, I, I learned some stuff from Grant too. I mean, he, he's been really um, uh, into like marketing contracts and, and I haven't had the opportunity yet to need something like that, but I would go to him because I know he's really good on some of the stuff where you have to get releases from, from artists and things like that. I haven't actually done very much of that. So it's, it's been both ways, you know, educational process. It's been great. For me, I know I, I mean, my career is not going to develop unless I have somebody I can look up to and bounce ideas off of and learn from. So having Kathy is a huge part of my professional development. I'm not the smartest person in the room. I would never think I would be. And having somebody there to guide you along the way who's done it before can give you different ways to do things or suggest uh, better ways to do things is important for anybody. And that goes for not only your law career, um, but any career that you're going to get into. I think you need to have a mentor so you have somebody to learn from. And granted, there are things you can do on your own and you can go read and learn as much as you can. But uh, the experiential factor of developing your own career is something I think that is invaluable. If you can learn from somebody who's already done it, maybe you can learn their way, which is the best way, or maybe you can learn from them and figure out a better way to do it. And I know because of the things Kathy has done, I can go to her for nearly anything that I'm going to need because she's probably already done it at this point. you're not always going to see the typical law student go law school, let's go to a firm and be a summer associate and then bounce into a law firm after that. Um, I think having just such a deep pool of different types of attorneys for anybody who's coming out of law school at a different point in their career is very important for that professional development. And so the legal profession as a whole, I mean, we want to be this, just this big diverse community of professionals. And I think um, attorneys aren't necessarily viewed in the best light all the time. And we're always viewed as these no people. And um, it's not very often that people even want to talk to an attorney, but it, like, we're there to help. And I think having a mentor who knows how to just be that help can help you uh, develop as a professional. Um, I think one thing that Kathy and I focused on through our relationship was um, just this aspect of her knowing that mediation and negotiation um, is applicable, not only in the legal profession, but across the board. And I think there needs to be just so much of a focus on that in the legal profession and then even outside the legal profession, just being able to um, talk to different people from different walks of life and being able to come to these different compromises, view things from different points of view um, and kind of understand opinions on both sides, obviously looking at today's political climate and other social issues that are going on. It's, there's just, just big broader um, uh, spectrum of development that we can all gain from a mentor not only in the legal profession, um, but as a whole. Just to pick up on a little bit of what Grant said, um, civility, it's a big part of it. And I, I think it's an obligation of seasoned attorneys, I won't say old, seasoned attorneys to help, you know, move things to the younger generation um, and take it over. Uh, and I know there's been a big issue with civility in our country and the legal profession. And I think if you, if you pair the two seasoned with younger attorneys, I think that goes a long way of helping um, kind of smooth over that and, and show them what is possible, I guess. But I do, I do believe that the, the seasoned attorneys should have, feel some obligation to pass the torch to the younger generation.